Hey guys, uh, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capellan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, as I promised in my previous tutorial that I'm going to prepare a ladder diagram or ladder program for a forward reverse uh, motor control. Okay. So first of all, uh, I would like to walk you through with my program okay now in my previous tutorial i have shown you a manual uh, electrical circuit diagram for a forward reverse motor control okay now uh, actually i used that uh, diagram in writing this ladder program okay so guys first all you need to do is okay power up your uh, plc then connect the network this time our network is usb okay now okay of course you need also to specify the correct uh, device okay so my omron cp1e then the device type is cp1e then settings you need to make it n40 because mine is n40 okay then the network type is usb because i'm connecting my PLC to my laptop through USB. Okay, now you have seen that one already. Okay, then you can write your program. Now my program name is forward reverse. Okay, so obviously because this is for forward reverse motor control. Okay, now for the section. Okay, so I have one section here. Now how many symbols that I have used? Now guys, the symbols, you will get all the symbols in this row okay so these are the symbols this is the like if you want to use this arrow or the pointing arrow then if you want to select the symbols you can get it from here okay this is the new contact new normally open close then this one i think this one is branching okay then this one is the uh, okay let me this one is this uh but uh vertical lines okay then this one is for the horizontal lines like this okay so the first symbol that i've used here is the status button as you can see in my uh, diagram or in my electrical circuit diagram from the paste okay so again this uh, this vertical line here is or my left vertical line and this, my right vertical line are called the rails, okay? Then I have here two rungs, okay? So uh, rung zero, then rung one, okay? Now, guys, uh, as I said, the first symbol that I use there is the stop push button, okay? Or the normally open for stop push button. But again, in our uh, motor control, this one is wired. Uh, normally close okay then this one is the ol one so this one is for the overload trip again this is a normally close now normally closed is treated as nut okay so nut so you will think of this as a nut or a nut gate okay then i have here my push button for starting the motor at forward okay so i'll name it as f01 then uh this uh, after this post button, my I connected to the normally closed contact of my reverse motor contactor, reverse direction motor contactor. Okay, so it should pass in there. I already explained this one in my previous tutorial because you, I, we are using this C, C to the zero two and C when the zero two is the interlocking because we don't want that the motor running at forward, you will immediately run it at reverse direction. Now, the, the, the reason for that one is it will create big problem in your motor, especially if it is a big motor. If it is a big motor, of course, it is carrying a big load. You cannot uh, immediately reverse the direction of the motor. The opposite one, if it is run, let's say it is running at forward, then immediately you will uh, run it at reverse direction. Then it will create a big problem in your uh, motor. 
especially if it is carrying a big load, a mechanical load, okay, like a fan or a compressor, okay? So that is the reason for that one. So that uh, to prevent the reversing of the motor direction immediately, we are doing some interlock, okay? So this is interlock. I have ex explained this one already in my uh, previous tutorial, okay? So in my first rung, okay, so if this is true and not trip, so I'm just like trying to explain again, how are you going to interpret the rung, okay? This first rung here. So if this is true and, okay, I'm using an end gate and not trip, and forward and not reverse, then start my coil MC1, okay? Then there is a branching also here, as you can see here. This one is being used for the latching, okay? So because this uh, push button switch is momentary, so when it is first pressed, it will close. Then when you release it, the current should go in this direction, okay? Because this one will open, then the current should pass here. Because this MC, motor contactor for forward, there is a normally open contact there. So the first time you energize this, this contact will close. The, even this is open now, the flow of current will be from here like this okay then again it will also uh, activate the coil for the run lamp okay now okay so i have also here my reverse now if you want to run the motor at reverse direction then you have to push the push button for the reverse okay then again for the interlocking the current should pass in the forward contactor normally closed so if this one is not if this one is working even you uh, push this one this one will op this one is open because this one is energized so you will not be able to start the motor at reverse direction okay so that is the reason for that one then again this is the latching now uh, i have here my motor off okay if you remember the electrical circuit diagram that I have shown you in the previous tutorial. So this is the one representing the motor op indication lamp. Okay, then the trip in my rung number one, I'm using there the trip uh, in my overload protection. There is a normally open contact there when it closes because there is a trip condition, then it will drive my coil or my trip lamp. Okay, so this is a very simple uh, this is a simple forward reverse program. Okay. Now, actually, if you are following my tutorial, in this uh, previous tutorial, the manual circuit diagram, electrical circuit diagram, it almost appear. Uh, it's almost similar to this approach, isn't it? Okay. So once you finish, <clears throat> once you finish your program, you can always go to program. Then you will have to check compile. Now, there should be no error somewhere here, okay? So, forward reverse program name, zero error, zero warning, okay? Because if there is error, you cannot uh, transfer it in your PLC. So, the next thing you have to do, if there is no more error in your program, then you can transfer it in your uh, PLC. Now, before you can transfer it, of course, you need to work online, okay? So you have to work online, make sure your PLC is powered up, then uh, the network, the USB connection is connected to the laptop, then you can uh, transfer the program. Okay, let me see why it's not. Uh, let me just check. Okay, let's see. Okay, so yes. So... My programmer will try to, okay, now as you can see, I'm in the monitor mode, okay, so because there are several modes here, the operating mode is program, monitor, and run. Now we can run, okay, yes, 
Uh, but since my wiring is not yet done, I just finished the uh, PLC programming. Now, if you want to simulate, if you want to simulate your uh, program by forcing the symbols, okay? So I will show you. But before you can uh, force this, this symbol, okay, you need to change it to uh, monitor, okay? Yes. Okay. Now, as you can see here, guys, uh, based on my PLC ladder program, my motor is off, as you can see here, okay? So motor is off. Now, if you will check, uh, if you will think of a current flow, so from this left rail and to the right rail, Let's say this is our load, okay? This is our electrical load. So how many load? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six loads. So the load that is uh, where the current is flowing is the M op or the motor op or this lamp indication because lamp indication is an electrical load, okay? Before a lamp will light up, you need to provide or you need to complete the circuit. There should be a power supply. If it is 24 volts DC, then there should be a 24 volts DC positive and a negative 24 volts DC. If it is an AC, there should be a 24 volts AC, then there should be a zero volts AC. If it is a 220, there should be a phase and there should be a neutral, okay? So if you are going to think of uh, current flow, so from here, from my left rail, my current is flowing up to here. Okay, then current can flow also up to here. Current can flow up to here. Then current can flow up to here. Now here, since this is wired normally closed in the field, so that's why current will flow here. And as you can see, this is normally closed and normally closed. Then the current or the circuit for M op is complete. I have a connection in my, let's say this is my negative 24 volts and this is my positive 24 volts. So the circuit for this one is complete. So of course the load is energized, okay? Now, uh, how are we going to simulate this one? So as I said, we will try to force the symbols, okay? Now in BMS, we have also forcing of the points, okay? Now here, we can also refer these symbols as points, okay? So I want to run now my motor in forward direction, okay? So what I will do, I will come here, then I can force that point or that symbol to on. Okay, as you can see, you can hear also in the background because my PLC is online, okay? Now, so what is happening now? Uh, let me come here, okay? So current flow, okay, That what is the problem here? Okay, actually, because we are just simulating it, in the real, if it is already wired, this contacts will open, okay? So the motor will be off. But since we are just simulating it, we will not see the actual operation. But in my next tutorial, I will show you if I finish the uh, field connection of my motor control, okay? Now, anyway, I just want to show you. So if I will push the push button here, then the flow of current is like this. So my forward motor will run, okay? So that is how you are going to start the forward, uh, the motor in forward direction. The rotation of the motor will be in forward direction or in a clockwise direction. Okay. Now, okay, let me uh, force it to off. Okay. As you can see also, in the, as you can hear in the background, my output uh, channel is trying to act, uh, react accordingly. Okay. Now, I want to run my... Now, I want to run my reverse. I want to run my motor in reverse direction. So again, I can say on. As you can see, now the flow of current is from here. So it's starting my uh, motor or changing the direction to reverse. Of course, since I have here a, I have here a, what you call this one? Uh, okay. 
guys, uh, maybe you will ask why there are some discrepancy in the status. Of course, we are just trying to force. But as I said in my next tutorial, I'm going to show you the real response of the PLC based on the field condition. Okay, so I'm just showing you how are you going to check if your program is uh, correct. Okay, so uh, okay, so that is the one. So I will force it to off. Okay, so guys, after checking your program and you are happy with it, then that's the time you are going to uh, go to the control panel and check if the uh, PLC is controlling our motor control. Okay, I mean our motor running or rotating it in a clockwise and rotating it in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, now guys. After you are forcing some point or some symbol, don't forget to cancel all forces. Because if you will put it online, then you forget to remove the force, then your PLC might not act accordingly. Okay. So, guys, this is how I have written the uh, forward reverse ladder diagram program for my PLC, okay? So guys, uh, once again, thank you for joining me. If you have any comment, and if you are uh, following my tutorial, and if you want to help me promote it, you can always subscribe, you can like, and share the video. Again, guys, uh, the problem I encountered here before I will end the tutorial, I encountered an overlapping error, okay? Now, the overlapping error, okay, let me uh, go out of the, let me work offline, okay? Now, the, what happened is, when I tried to connect this, this C1 and C2 here, so meaning when I connect it here, so like this, when I connect it here, then uh, let's say I will remove this uh, vertical. Okay, let me come here. So when I remove this, delete. Okay. So anyway, uh, before I connect it here, after the push button, I connect it this to normally close contact to this uh, rail. Now I encountered there a uh, overlapping error. So that's why I removed this. I removed that one. I removed the connection there. Then connect it here. Okay. Then I was able to clear the overlapping error in my uh, ladder program. Okay. So guys, if you have an overlapping error in a certain la rank, so you can solve it by doing like this, okay? So that is one of the problems that you might encounter if you are doing the ladder program, okay? Then again, of course, you have to make sure that you are not, uh, you are assigning the addresses correctly, okay? So just like this one, this is input uh, terminal 0, 2, input terminal 0, 4, input terminal 0, 05 now if you are doing the programming you can always jot down because uh, so that you can follow what are the addresses that you have used and of course i think there is also some uh, some way also here to see all the inputs and the addresses anyway guys uh, as i said i'm also new to this uh, cx1 programmer so I need to really uh, study this so that I can create more video tutorial to be able to help new engineers like me in PLC. Again, thank you for watching. And before I end, uh, God bless us all. Let's all be safe. And bye for now.